Okay, so now uh, in this section we will develop a tool that you will get automatically a message if the market value is lower or bigger it depends on what you need to uh, see so that's just an example use the market values lower than the market costs so um, that means for example the market codes at the time of the purchase so you've write it manually down what was the market costs as you bought the stock yeah and the this is the, um, for example, the current market costs, yeah, and it will, so the, um, the information is came from the finance Yahoo um, API, and if it's lower, the current cost of the stock, for example, from the Carbor Bank uh, Corp Inc., then you will get an email. Yeah, so that's the first thing what uh, that we need would like to do, and to do it, we need to go to the script editor, and we here we here we will have a blank sheet. I just uh, make a project, a new project. I name it Portfolio Tracker rename it and now we need to make a function and this this case I name it check market values so all we have to do now is make a new variable and we get the active uh, spreadsheet So if you don't understand this, don't worry. You can just copy it step by step as I do, and it will be works. War sheet, or if you want, you can also download it from my site. The link, as I told already, is in the de description below box below this video. So we already get the spreadsheet. Get by uh, get a sheet by name. And we put here sheet. So what is the, the name of the sheet? Is sheet one. Now we make it uh, another variable. We call it the market value. So in this case, the market value let's just say so as i already told we need this information or sorry um current market ah okay we need this one so the current market costs and yes the market costs at the time of purchase so i just call it market value yeah, so it will be this information. Get sheet by name. Sheet one. Get range. we F3 dot get value so because we need to have our value and the next variable I would call more market cost so what is the current market costs? 
it's automatically this information came from the finance. So Yahoo Finance function API. So come back. Get sheet by name. I forget here, put this one. Yes. get we need to have a range and the range will be age three and get value okay now we need to have our email address our sheet get range first I will leave it blank and then after get value nice so now we should see um, the range actually so we need to um, start one two one two three four five six seven eight and three eight and three so in this um, field we want to have the value oh sorry so this is the email address oh so we we just need an email address uh, the email address we want two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eight nineteen twenty so this is the twentieth row and column column and row is three. So actually the three can stay. As you see, we, I put it already in the email. So you make can make your notification part just easily put your email address or and subject and message. So all the things what you want to have. So you will get an email in this email address with this subject. So you can also put something what you want and message. I put just put it here, text, a normal randomly text message. And after this is the variable, so the email address where we want to send the whole thing. Okay, this on the next step is subject sheet one get range oh sorry so first row and column mm -hmm. For first we need to go to column and after the row so actually this is 20 and this is a 3 and after get the value subject subject and war so variable message we will get also the sheet one get range 
get value. So now we have also the message part. So um, in this case, it was 20. Um, so the 20 uh, stay there. And this will be the four and fifth. So what we have to do now, four, get the value from the fourth row, 20th column, and also do the same by the fifth and the 20th. So the fifth row and the 20th column, as you see, right. Okay, so the next step to so UE spreadsheet app get UE. Okay, and now we implement, we will implement here um, the logic. I just need to copy paste it. Uh, I don't get this one. Copy paste. Okay, great. So now we have the the check. So the market value, if the market value is lower than the market costs. We, wa we want to have a UI message. So it's like an other message. And I will call it alert. And here we can write our alert message, market. So here we want to put what is the message. So the market value is less than the market costs. Explanation mark mail app send an email. So there's the thing what we have. So if the market value is lower than the market costs, so back here so if the market value is lower than the, the market cost, so the current cost, then for example, we want to sell it, just an example, then we get an email, so we know, okay, now we need to sell that thing, and we will get automatically an email, but first you need, we need to put here the email address, so these variables, the subject, and the message. Yes, yeah, so now we are done with this function, and we can save it and we don't have any error message so the code is good so we can jump to the next section